G'day guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear, you'll find crafting videos into costuming, you'll find DIY videos into furniture, and you'll find analysis into historical events, who are the main characters and why do things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, you might want to consider subscribing. In today's video, we're going to have a look at the Make Your Own Medieval Gottberg Axe. That's this one right here. This is a variation of the Dane Axe or the Type M Axe under the Peterson uh, typologies. These axes were found from the 10th century through to the 13th and there's a whole variety that have been found across Northern and Western Europe uh, that have a sort of hollow parts within the axe, um, but they're all coming under the same typology. This is a really good axe, I really like this. Uh, it's, it's very, very much based on an example that's available uh, in the Gottberg Museum in Sweden. So you can find it online. Um, I, th th this is a, uh, a reenactment axe, so the edge is a dull edge. It is a blunt edge for training and uh, reenactment purposes. Uh, in Australia, we have to have uh, a three millimeter edge on axes and the um, tips of the axe need to be rounded. So no one really gets hurt too much. It does happen. Uh, and those of you who were aware of the um, 2018 uh, medieval festival in Sydney probably are aware of someone getting hurt by an axe there. I don't think it was quite as dramatic as what was reported in the media but still uh, you know these things happen and very good friends of mine have been injured very much in training so having a good training weapon is, is, is really really good. Um, I've put this onto a this is actually a hoe handle so um, what I did is I rounded the hoe handle into a an oval shape which I much prefer myself um, so that I know which way the axe is pointing um, and it gives me a lot of extra feedback when you are fighting I find it very 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 useful uh, you obviously can't get axe handles this long in modern society at least I haven't been able to find one so that's what I had to use I simply used a plane hand plane to um, reduce the width down and to create a bit of shape to it and that was fantastic for me all right, let's look at some specs on the axe head. It's made out of a modern EN45 steel, obviously not a medieval type of steel. Medieval steels did vary very much uh, according to the particular time period, who was actually making it. So individual blacksmiths were able to come up with a very different type of steel for them. Uh, and also the um, individual geographical area uh, would obviously have had some play in the type of steels that were produced. Uh, the cost is $74.95. Uh, I find that incredibly reasonable. Um, and this is a, a really, really good piece of kit. I, I like this. This is, um, uh, it's, it's a very lively axe head. It's very easy to use. And I find it um, uh, a, a very, very interesting weapon to train with and to fight with. I've only actually fought with it twice and I'm a little bit newer to the to the training with it side so there's a bit of novelty factor there but I am really enjoying it. Uh, and the weight is around about 490 to 500 grams so that's really like a very very lightweight piece of kit obviously with the the hollowed out internals. Um, so guys I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. I really really like it. Uh, I think there's a couple of things they could do to improve on it. Um, perhaps having some options and a bit more information about the actual uh, axe head on their website would be useful. But I find this a, just a really, really nice piece of kit. Uh, it's, it's just very easy to work with uh, and it's, it's just such a, um, an interesting weapon. We don't know a whole lot about these particular axe heads. This is smaller than the um, the axe heads that were found in battle locations. So this may very well have been a uh, sort of ceremonial axe and that would suggest, coming from Scandinavia, that it was possibly used for processions or possibly used 
in um, beheadings and executions. We don't know, we simply don't have very much information on that period at all um, in, in relation to the specific sort of weapons that were available at the time. Uh, I think it's very interesting and very speculative. I, I, I think I, I would like to you know, I'm very keen to see some, some more information about this uh, produced and I think um, the retailers of this sort of thing, uh, um, I think it would be great for them to, to provide a bit more, more information. But otherwise, um, this, is, this is really good, really enjoyable. Uh, solid 9 out of 10, really, really happy with it, really enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.